Here's a follow-up video from the first one that I did advising that I would be removing this. You can certainly see here is the K&N system removed. You can see the filters quite dirty. A little over six months worth of use. Absolutely zero benefit to speak of. Do not waste your money on this. Uh, spend 300 bucks and, and do something else to your vehicle more meaningful because this doesn't do anything for the real world application. You can see here, here's the stock system installed. Took it for a drive. It's quieted down, seems more responsive. Of course, the air now coming into the engine from the fender area here and then outside the vehicle comes through here, nice and cool. Goes through the hose into the intake, much cleaner, cooler charge, especially if you're towing a 10,000 pound fifth wheel uh, in uh, warm conditions. This is, uh, there's no real improvement, I guess I should say, with the K&N system. Really don't bother with it. You know, for me, I paid uh, out of my own pocket. No one paid me for it. This is an honest review. I know some people are going to say I'm crazy or nuts or buy a diesel. But for me, I like the gas truck. It works great. I have no issues for, for my type of uh, towing. And I thought this would be a... Um, you know, a nice upgrade, but unfortunately it wound up being a not so nice upgrade. And there it is. So if you have a 2500 HD, this kit is for, I believe, I don't know for sure, either 2014 through 2018. That's the kit right there. Don't bother spending your money.